October is Dyslexia Awareness Month, and this vlog we're here with our instructional technologist, um, Mrs. Din, discussing three technology tools that can help students who have dyslexia. Um, welcome to the Joy Vlog. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Happy to be here. Yeah. Um, so before we start talking about these tools, will you tell us a little bit about your role at the Joy School? Yes. So as an instructional technologist, my main priority is to help teachers bring technology into the classroom. And that could be um, in terms of assistive technology, that's some of the things that we're going to be talking about today, or it could just be technology as a general term, um, bringing in how to use laptops with this lesson plan or how to use iPads with this lesson plan and just kind of updating whatever they have a little bit with technology. Okay, so we are going to talk about um, three tools that can help students with dyslexia and they are the dictation tool within Word and OneNote, the um, immersive reader also within one, Word and OneNote, and picture to text to speech tools. Okay, so um, let's talk about the first tool, but before we do that, let's talk about um, what dyslexia is and how these tools can help students who yes. have dyslexia. So dyslexia in very broad terms is a learning difficulty that um, centers around reading difficulties uh, which can affect reading fluency, spelling, um, output with writing as well. Sometimes it can um, affect speech with uh, students. Um, yeah. <laughs> Sounds good. That's good. Um, okay, so, um, and then how can um, these tools help students that um, have dyslexia. So with the dictation piece, it can help students get all of their ideas out onto paper or in this um, part, onto the computer a lot faster without that worry of how do I spell this or um, anything um, slowing them down in the process. So it really helps them get that stuff out there. And with the immersive reader, it helps them take in that information um, at their comprehension level. So they may not be able to read the words, but they can understand the words when it's read to them. And the immersive reader really helps with that piece. So let's talk about our first tool, the dictation tool. Um, what is this tool and how is it used? It is in uh, Word and OneNote and there's Microsoft is slowly rolling it out to other applications as well and it's very simple. It's a lot easier than a lot of the ones that we've used in the past where kids had to train the computer to recognize their speech patterns and their way of speaking. This so you just press a little microphone and it starts recording right away and um, it also records punctuation so when kids stop it will recognize that and if it doesn't the kids have to say insert period or put a period and I'll insert punctuation that way. So the next tool we're talking about is the immersive reader yes. um, and it can also be found in Word and OneNote. So what is this tool and how can students use it? Yes. So the immersive reader is a really nice tool. It can read text back to you, the students. The text can be um, imported into Word or OneNote um, as text as they're writing or if you embed a PDF, it has an OCR tool, which is st which stands for Optical Character Recognition, where the program can pull the text from the PDF and read that text back to you, and it can do it from an image as well. So if students have an image that has a lot of writing on it, they can put that into OneNote or Word and it can read it to them. It's also available in uh, Microsoft Edge, the internet browser, so if students are reading um, from there, it can read it from that, read the text to them too. And one of the cool features about Immersive Reader is that it can highlight one line at a time by blocking out everything else. So students focus on just that one line at a time. It highlights the words as it is being read to them. They can increase or decrease the speed of the reading and select from different voices. Um, they can also change the background color and text color. So sometimes that helps students um, kind of isolate 
isolate the words as well. There's a syllabication piece where it will break the words into syllables for them. It can highlight nouns, adjectives, adverbs, things like that to really break down the sentences for the students so that they can um, really take in all that information in a way that works um, the best for them. Let's talk about the last tool on our list, um, the picture to text to speech tool. Um, for this tool, you're going to show us how it's used, but before we do that, um, let's talk about why would a student use this tool? Yes. So a lot of the tools that we have, like in OneNote that we just talked about, requires the students to be using a laptop or a device similar to that. And in the real world, everyday time, when they're walking around the streets, sometimes it's difficult to do all of that. Um, but there might be a sign that the students want to read, or if they're at a museum, um, when they're solving scavenger hunts around the school, and we have like, little word props for them, we found that students were having difficulty just reading that piece. Mm -hmm. And so I did a little bit of research and found that there are programs on phones and on Androids and iOS that can translate or you can take a picture of the text and it can take the um, the OCR tool again and pull the text from there and give you the text. Um, and sometimes that helps students but they needed to take it a step further where it, it took the text and translated it to speech so that they could understand it. And there are there aren't that many programs out there, but there are a couple um, that I'm gonna show you that can take it from picture to text and then to speech mm -hmm. so that uh, students can really understand what the signs are saying. So what I want to show you today is a new app called Voice Dream that will take a picture, convert it to text, and take that text and read it to convert it to speech for you. Um, so we're going to open it here. This is on iOS devices. Oh, look who's that? No, 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 not me. So we're going to go here, find a picture. I'm going to take a picture there. Um, notice that I didn't have to be very worried about the focus. It auto did that for us. And we're just going to kind of pick something to highlight and have it read to us. So let's go with this much. And press done there. And it's going to turn it to the text for you. You can read it from the screen by pressing the play button. I used to help fourth and fifth grade teachers print. You can do that. You can press the buttons over here to the right to turn it into regular text. I anyway. used to help fourth and fifth grade teachers bring technology into the. You can click on the sound type button, make the speech rate a little bit faster, change the voice here. They're classrooms, but as a full time teacher, that was all I could. So that's a little too fast. Let's go down a little bit. Do since those were the grades I taught at the time, the school had a need for more tech. So fast, but you know. You can keep on changing it here into a paste. Technological sense. integration across all grade levels. Miss and then a cool thing about this is that you can also decide to keep this. If it's something that you want to keep for your notes, you can save it. You can also export it somewhere else. You can do lots of pictures. It's all up to you and how you want to do that. But yeah. There you go. Well, thank you so much, Mrs. Den, for coming today to our blog and describing how these tools work. Um, if you love what you have just watched, be sure to share the joy and share this on your social media um, or comment below um, if you if you have um, thoughts on it. So we will see you next time. Yes. Bye. Bye.